1. Which structure is responsible for aqueous humor production? A. Retina. B. Ciliary body. C. Iris. D. Cornea. 2. What is the primary purpose of a Schirmer test? A. Measure intraocular pressure. B. Detect corneal abrasions. C. Evaluate tear production. D. Determine pupil size. 3. Tonometry is used to assess a retinal detachment. B. Visual field defects. C. Intraocular pressure. D. Color vision. 4. Which of the following instruments is used to measure the curvature of the cornea? A. Tonometer. B. Lensometer. C. Keratometer. D. Retinoscope. 5. What is the normal range for intraocular pressure IOP? A. 5 to 10 millimeters of mercury. B. 10 to 21 millimeters of mercury. C. 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury. D. 25 to 35 millimeters of mercury. 6. Which of the following tests is used to evaluate peripheral vision? A. Ishihara test. B. Amsler grid. C. Visual field test. D. Schirmer test. 7. What does OD stand for in ophthalmology? A. Left eye. B. Both eyes. C. Right eye. D. Optic disc. 8. What does the Ishihara test detect? A. Macular degeneration. B. Glaucoma. C. Color blindness. D. Night blindness. 9. What part of the eye contains rods and cones? A. Cornea. B. Iris. C. Retina. D. Lens. 10. Which instrument is used to measure refractive error? A. Autorefractor. B. Pachymeter. C. Tonometer. D. Slit lamp. 11. The leading cause of preventable blindness worldwide is a cataract. B. Macular degeneration. C. Diabetic retinopathy. D. Glaucoma. 12. Which chart is most commonly used for measuring distance visual acuity? A. Jaeger chart. B. Amsler grid. C. Snellen chart. D. Ishihara plates. 13. The primary purpose of using cycloplegic drops is to A. Lower intraocular pressure. B. Prevent infection. C. Dilate the pupil and paralyze accommodation. D. Treat dry eyes. 14. What is a contraindication for pupil dilation? A. Cataracts. B. Glaucoma angle closure. C. Myopia. D. Astigmatism. 15. The refractive error where light focuses behind the retina is called a myopia. B. Hyperopia. C. Astigmatism. D. Presbyopia. 16. Amsler grid testing is used for evaluating a. Central vision defects. B. Peripheral field loss. C. Intraocular pressure. D. Eye muscle balance. 17. What is the term for a drooping upper eyelid? A. Entropian. B. Ectropian. C. Ptosis. D. Strabismus. 18. What does the slit lamp primarily examine? 
A. Retinal layers. B. Corneal curvature. C. Anterior segment of the eye. D. Visual field. 19. When should hands be washed during patient care? A. Only before an exam. B. Only after patient contact. C. Before and after every patient contact. D. Only if gloves are not used. 20. Which eye drop is used to anesthetize the eye for tonometry? A. Tropicamide. B. Pilocarpine. C. Propericane. D. Timolol. 21. What is the primary function of the lens? A. Focus light on the retina. B. Control pupil size. C. Produce aqueous humor. D. Detect color. 22. What is the leading cause of vision loss in patients over 60 in developed countries? A. Cataract. B. Retinal detachment. C. Age-related macular degeneration. D. Diabetic retinopathy. 23. What is the best method to disinfect a tonometer tip? A. Soak in alcohol. B. Wipe with saline. C. Soak in 10% bleach solution. D. Steam autoclave. 24. A patient complains of sudden flashes and floaters. What is the most likely concern? A. Cataract. B. Glaucoma. C. Retinal detachment. D. Corneal abrasion. 25. Which condition is characterized by increased intraocular pressure damaging the optic nerve? A. Cataract. B. Uveitis. C. Glaucoma. D. Astigmatism. Certified Ophthalmic Assistant The Certified Ophthalmic Assistant COE exam is an entry-level certification administered by the International Joint Commission on Allied Health Personnel and Ophthalmology at CAPO. It is designed for individuals beginning their careers in eye care and demonstrates foundational knowledge and skills necessary to support ophthalmologists in clinical settings. The exam assesses competencies in areas such as patient history, basic ocular anatomy and physiology, eye examinations, clinical skills, optics, pharmacology, and infection control. Passing the COE exam validates a candidate's readiness to assist in patient care, perform preliminary eye tests, and uphold professional standards in ophthalmology practices. Here are the top five beneficial uses of the sample exam. 1. Career advancement. Earning COA certification demonstrates verified competency in ophthalmic assisting, making candidates more competitive for job opportunities and promotions within the eye care field. 2. Professional credibility. Certification from IJCAPO enhances credibility with employers and patients, showing a commitment to high standards of care and continued learning. 3. Skill validation. The COE exam confirms that the candidate has mastered core knowledge and clinical skills required for entry-level roles, ensuring quality and consistency in ophthalmic support. 4. Higher earning potential. Certified professionals often qualify for higher salaries compared to non-certified assistants, as their training reduces risk and increases efficiency. 5. Pathway to Advanced Certification Passing the COE exam opens the door to higher-level certifications like COT Certified Ophthalmic Technician and COMT Certified Ophthalmic Medical Technologist.